and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood. And I'm here with Miguel with his movie Sisters Islands. Let's take a look at a clip. Thank you very much for coming on a 15 hour flight That's from Singapore right. to be here with us to share your film. Congratulations. Thank you. For, thank you for having me here. Oh, we're very fortunate to have you. Um, for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Yeah, this film is about two brothers. They go to the Sisters Island. This sister that actually exists uh, in Singapore. Mm -hmm. And later on, we find out that the reason for going there is to throw their dad ashes. Mm -hmm. So these two brothers, they have a conflict. And in this trip journey to the islands, they're gonna rediscover, you know, the family issues mm -hmm. and discover a legend behind these these islands. Mm -hmm. I I loved it. Like I I've never seen a film like that in, in New Filmmakers, and we we have a lot of films screened. It was just so it was so cinematic. I felt like I was watching a high budget feature. It had a beautiful score, beautiful acting, great story, and took us into the beautiful Singapore and showed this incredible legend of a story. Where did the inspiration come for you in, in making this particular project? Yeah, the, the inspiration it came from the legend. Uh, there were a few things, you know, that I like about it. It was about, like, for example, the transcendence of life in nature. Mm -hmm. Also, the relationship between siblings, you know, and the meaning of family. Also, that step when we get out of our family and mm -hmm. make our own life. So there were like different factors that I wanted to to do the film and and while making the film, learning about those things. Yeah. And because it took me so long, by the time that I got started, I became father first time and I got oh. twin brothers. Oh, wow, you got twin brothers, okay. Yeah. I, wa I wonder where that came about, actually. Um, I, I was just, am I mean, just amazed. I mean, it, you had, there's so much context in there and, and just, you know, and you had great, a great cast. Um, but I mean, even locations as well. I mean, firstly, let's talk about locations, because I mean, you had this amazing island and, and obviously filming in the water, not just in the water, but like underwater, That's like right. unbelievable. How did, I mean, when did that come about? How, you've got expertise in that. How was the locations and what was it like filming underwater? Yeah, the locations, uh, so this part of the legend is a um, period like 1900s or 1800s mm -hmm. before civilization and colonization mm -hmm. in that area. So I wanted to create this as a heaven in earth. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to find beautiful locations, nature, and you know, it's, it's not easy, you know, no. those days, you know, to find these locations where, where there's no there's no life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some of the locations are in Singapore. There are some natural reserves like mm -hmm. Makriti, and then this small island uh, outside Singapore that belongs to Indonesia. And I was lucky enough to find uh, a production company that helped me to find all these locations around mangroves and the ocean, and the place where the sisters live on the mm -hmm. beach with these big hats. So, uh, amazing. I mean, honestly, let me just give you an idea. Like, it's, it's like Jurassic Park when mm -hmm. they go into the sea. I'm like, this epic, beautiful location, which must have been a bl great to film there as well, mustn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, uh, it was hard to make, but it is true that while I was working on the film, because there were nice locations in nature, so mm -hmm. I did feel this kind of like, feel of peace, yeah. you know. It would have been much more difficult to work so hard and so long, something mm -hmm. that could be, let's say, I don't know, 
post-apocalyptic mm -hmm. or dark. Mm -hmm. I think after a while it, it could get into under my skin, you know? Yeah, no, of course. Now, you had these, you know, two sisters and then you had these two brothers. Now, I was completely convinced that both of them were sisters and brothers, but you're telling me it was, it was not that way, was it? You know, the first time I cast for the brothers, uh, we did one day of filming mm -hmm. for the teaser and a crowdfunding campaign, and there was no chemi between them. Mm -hmm. So I decided to recast again and look mm -hmm. for other actors, and they only met each other once before the, the casting, Wow. But I said, you need to spend time together. I don't, yeah. I don't care how you want to do it. Like, go for yeah. lunch or go to party. We can meet together as well. But you need to look like you yeah. have a strong relationship. Yeah. And, and for the sisters, were a bit different. Um, there were local girls that live in this island mm -hmm. where we were filming. Mm -hmm. So they have almost no experience, only... They have done some work for the radio and local mm -hmm. TV. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was the first time acting. Wow. And when they sent me the casting, like one of the girls, she was like crying. And I was like, wow. I was like, how is that possible? Like, yeah. Uh, it's like eight years old. And I think they did an amazing job for the first Brilliant time. Brilliant cast, yeah. And they get along so well together. They really look like sisters. I mean, I could have bet my life that they were both brothers and sisters. Like, it was that convincing. It was so well cast. I mean, how are you as a director? Because obviously it's a little bit different when you're, you've got young people and you're casting and saying, hey, you got, you know, your sisters. Like, how did, what's, your kind of car, what's your kind of directing process with? Because they've got a, their family, they've got to be very tight-knitted and know each other. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they get along each other and they look like sisters mm -hmm. and they act like sisters, they, they became friends very easy. Mm -hmm. So that helped a lot. Mm -hmm. And they also like and understood the story, mm -hmm. which I think was very important. Yeah. And I only had one time to meet them personally, and they were so enthusiastic and they have so much energy that, yeah. and I trust them that they could do it. And I think when they see that you trust them and yeah. believe and they can do it, they can perceive they can that. Perceive, if you yeah. have doubts about, mm. obviously, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, wow, I'm putting so much on this film, and yeah. they don't have much experience. Yeah. So there's always this risk, you know, that, but I was convinced that. Oh, I was convinced. Um, Miguel, you're a very talented filmmaker and you do not hold back because the fact that you, A, you filmed, you know, on this secluded island, which must have been quite difficult. Then you also filmed on a boat. Then you filmed underwater. And you also had a tiger in your film, which I was <laughs> like, what on earth is happening? Like. I mean, t give us a bit more idea of those elements that you had in yeah. your film. How was that difficult? Was it, was it, was it hard? How, or did you have experience? How for was example, that? For example, for underwater, I only died a few times without being certified. So I have to get certified myself in Singapore. And then I met one person that was specialized on diving yeah. and also to provide camera equipment for um, underwater filming. Yeah. And so I have a lot of conversation with them. You know, the best way to film those scenes, where mm -hmm. can be do these scenes. Uh, and then a friend of mine, he worked for Lucasfilm, but he's a diver mm -hmm. and he had all the equipment. So it, that was oh, a great, great help. That's very good. So you certified yourself to make this film so and, you could and go. And the actors as well, because wow. they didn't know how to die. So they certified themselves before the filming. And I have to say that both of them, but particularly one, the one that get caught with yeah. the plants, it was uh, natural, you know? Yeah. Uh, he did so well. I mean, you just, I want to go and work on Miguel's film, just to get to go <laughs> dive in, you get to all sorts. Um, and, you know, I, 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 th I think it's the first time in new filmmaker's history I've ever seen a real tiger in a movie. Please give us an explanation about that. And was anybody hurt? Were we okay? Yeah, the tiger in the story is because Singapore, before there were many tigers in Malaysia, mm -hmm. but, you know, slowly they hunt him mm -hmm. down. So now there's no tiger, but uh, there's a tiger in the zoo. So I don't know if I forget to for this. Clever. <laughs> Maybe we have to edit that. Down. No, I but love it. Clever. I thought, well, I'm gonna go there, and I was filming the tiger for, for a period of time, and there were a couple of moments that I thought, you know, I could integrate the girl mm -hmm. with the tiger, and and I was lucky, you know, that the tiger kind of like did what I was thinking they should be doing. Amazing. And and then with the same camera angle, the same lens, we filmed the the girl in the same position. I yeah. have one picture of the of the tiger. Uh-huh. And I asked the camera assistant to be the tiger 
so she could look into his eyes, uh -huh. and then I will I will replace that with her shot. See how clever he is? <laughs> this is really really cool. It's really cool. Well, my God, that's, that's, that's amazing. Um, the premise of the story is 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 such a great legend of a story. It really is. Um, you know, and it, you get to really go on this journey through, you know, through what the brothers are going through and what the sisters are going through. You know, it always had to, you know, an ensemble crew because there's a lot of different scenes that you have. Um, what was kind of the most challenging thing that you felt you had in this particular shoot? There were many challenges. Um, I would say to find the right locations and the cast mm -hmm. it was the most challenging thing. Yeah. Well, you certainly did well with that in the end. That's amazing. Um, you know, obviously you've got to, you know, you're from Spain, living in Singapore. Um, what, where did that journey come for you? Um, and did you always want to do filmmaking in Singapore? Um, so I moved to Singapore um, like five years ago and I, I started writing the script before I moved there. Oh, wow. And I found about this sister silence and the legend. And after two years, without really planning, I live just right in front of this island. So oh, I live now oh, not far beautiful. from this island. So That's I, so when gorgeous. I go for a walk, yeah. I can see the islands. Wow. And in Singapore, I think it's a good place for making films. Great yeah. locations, very diverse. Yeah, no, it's great. It's really, really good. So your, your, pl your plan is to stay there and, and you want to make more movies there? I'm going to stay there for a while and I would like to make more films before I, I move to another place. Probably yeah. USA. Yeah. We want you here. We'll, we'll kidnap you. you here as well, please. Um, so what, I mean, I'm you know. I'm open for contracts. <laughs> we'll open for contracts and money too, right? Yeah. Blank checks, you know, we'll, we'll encourage that as well. Um, I mean, what, because, you know, being from a different country myself, what is it like to, you know, come from Spain, living in Singapore, and then bring your movie to, to Los Angeles at New Filmmakers LA? What was that experience like? Well, it was great, you know. Um, like being from Spain and making a movie in Singapore about Singaporean legend, mm -hmm. it was challenging as well because some people were like, "Oh, you do, what do you know about history yeah. or mm -hmm. culture? Like, what's gonna be your take?" You know, mm -hmm. I did feel that uh, I received some kind of like second look, you know. I mm -hmm. don't know how to, to explain that, mm. but I feel proud that now I'm showing this, mm. you know, part of culture of Singapore uh, in other places like here in mm. LA. Uh, me, I'm very happy. You know, yeah, you should be. And, 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 and thank you for being here. Um, what's next for you, Miguel? I have a couple of projects, but I don't have anything yet 100% confirmed. I have okay. some ideas. In the past, I wrote a feature film mm -hmm. script, but it's very ambitious in terms of budget. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I'm quite right yet you know, mm -hmm. to direct or you know, to work on that film. So I'm writing now a novel based on the script. Oh, wow. And maybe if I finish the novel, yeah. uh, that might help to, to you know, to feel uh, more ready and, and find finance, you know, to, to do that project. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, I think you're certainly a filmmaker that's really, really gone there and, and been so daring and maybe where other people might have thought, oh no, that's not possible, you've just made it happen. In your experience as a filmmaker, what would you say is a piece of advice that either you've had or you, you, you have yourself or you maybe heard from somebody else that you'd have to any filmmaker out there that wanted to make a, a movie? Yeah, I think like no matter how complex or difficult, if you really believe in the project, uh, sooner or later it will take you more or less time, mm -hmm. but it's possible to to complete. And sometimes you have to sacrifice yeah. or find a balance, you know, what you can do or, or where. Yeah. But I think it's important if you want to tell the story, you just tell the story the best you can. Yeah. Um, and it's possible. So that's, I think that's the best. And also yeah. be hands-on. Yeah. And, and learn skills. Yeah, uh, that always helps. No, definitely. Hands on. Anything is possible with Miguel, and I think that's a really <laughs> great advice. Um, well, thank you for coming here. Thank you for coming all the way from Singapore to be here. Um, we love Sisters Islands, and we're looking forward to seeing much more of your work. So thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Thank you.